We'll get started. Brian Bearfield. Justin, what is your overall view of the team so far? I know you've only been here a short time, but you know, blending in with the the rest of the guys and you know some of that veteran leadership that's already there, like a PJ Tucker, John Wall, Demarcus Cousins. How how does it feel so far? Um, it feels great. Um, you know, it's not my first time in, on, with the NBA team, so just coming in and figuring out who's who as far as leadership and this, that, and the other. So. I came in, I've, I've been talking to PJ a lot just about the defensive calls and just looking at him and I'm a good person of just observing. So observing how he goes about his business because I want to take a lot of things that he does on the defensive side of the ball. Jonathan Fagan. Hello, Justin, welcome. Uh, how valuable was it for you? It doesn't usually work like this, that there's three practice days after a guy signs before there's a game. How helpful have has this weekend been for you? Um, it's been great uh, just to be with the guys, be with the coaches that have to get more familiar. Um, I've been studying a lot of film just so it's a seamless transition for the coaches so they don't have to work a little. They, they can just worry about the game. So just working on my doing my job and um, coming in. And that's where I've grown a lot, just being a professional. So make sure it's, make sure it's a seamless transition. Thank you. Christo Saltis. Hello, Justin. Welcome to the Houston. I would like to ask you, what are you willing to give on the court and uh, what are your expectations about uh, this season with the Rockets? Um, well, me, I'm looking to bring energy. Um, my de On the defensive side of the ball, just uh, control the paint and then be a dynamic roller, whatever, that, uh, whatever they ask of me, really, and bring energy. Um, my expectations on the season for me and for the team are just to win and play hard. Um, that's all we can and control, we can control. So, and have fun, obviously. Kaylee Griffin. Hey, Justin, welcome to Houston. Uh, Coach Silas talked a few days ago when you're after your first day, he said you'd been there like an hour before practice started, but he said he was really impressed with how quickly you were picking things up. I know for Rockets fans that are unfamiliar with your game, how would you describe your style of play? And uh, obviously you are coming from the Westchester Knicks, so a little bit of a different system than here in Houston. So how comfortable have you felt um, mixing in with the, the system here? Um, it's been it's been great. Uh, as soon as I found out right after the game, my last game with the Westchester Knicks, uh, I got with because their G League team was in the bubble, also the Vipers. So I got with them and uh, we watched film all night, uh, all morning. Um, like I said, just so we can make sure it's uh, seamless. And um, I'm just a, I would say to describe myself, I'm just a, a part of the new regime of bigs uh, as far as like being able to space the floor. And obviously, I bring a huge defensive presence. I feel like a lot of our uh, generation is getting away from the defensive side of the ball. So bringing that intensity, bringing that communication is what I feel like I can bring to the team. Adam Spolin. Justin, have, have they spelled out a role for you? Um, yeah, I mean, they want me to, they want me to, it's, it's pretty like uh, self-explainable for, for me. You know, I'm a smart guy. Like I said, I observe and then I attack. Um, like I just, I'm just coming in and doing, playing, doing my job, rebounding, uh, defense, and um, make, making sure I'm rolling and being, making sure it's seamless. So whatever they, whatever they ask of me, I'll do. Um, I'm a pro, like I said earlier. Um, so whatever they, whatever I see, whatever job is out there, I'm gonna do it. Whether it's diving on the floor, waving a towel, or you know, being, being, being help of the rim for verticality, all that stuff, I'm gonna do. So. Brian Bearfield. Justin, away from the court, is there anything that you look forward to doing while you're here? in Houston, and I know you're from the South, but I'm just saying, are you, anything you look forward to doing while you're here? Uh, no, I just look forward to getting better every single day. Um, I love being in the environment, the NBA environment, no no downplay to the uh, G League environment, but the resources you have when you're in this environment is great. So just using my coaches, my coaching staff, and the training staff every single day while I'm here, because you never know how much time you got. So just using my resources and getting better every single day. Jonathan With the center position sort of in flux here, what kind of opportunity do you think there is for you to sort of make your way? Um, it's a huge uh, opportunity, especially with my past in the league. Um, I get to play, so I'm just happy about that. Uh, and it's going to be it's going to be a fun. It's going to be fun. So at the end of the day, it's basketball. I'm going to go out there and, and take what's given to me, and. Um, you know, fight for every opportunity I got for every second I got out there. So I'm gonna play hard and bring the energy. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. We appreciate your time. Thank you all.